we need to take care of our black women. Yeah. We need to take care of them. People go don't see the uh, justice for Ua hashtag yes. and then uh, justice for Tina hashtag. For Tina, yeah. 27th of May, last week Wednesday, mm -hmm. this young lady go inside church, RCCG, Edo Province 10, mm -hmm. Ipoba Hill, mm -hmm. 100 level microbiology student of Uniben. Now inside church, people can't come, can't rape this girl, use fire extinguisher canister, hit her forehead, can't kill this, this girl. So. so we have Ua, Tina, almost every Nigerian girl you actually know to be very honest. It's just that a lot of them prefer to keep it to themselves. You go and report. They're not blaming you for what happened. They're blaming you for where you went to. They're blaming you for what you wore. And then, yeah, even if you now confess, what even happens to these people who are perpetrating such acts? Nothing. Your reputation is probably just ruined and then nothing just happens. Nothing at all happens to the person who caused this to you. You don't even blame Nigerian girls who keep quiet about rape, any form of sexual assault they would have experienced in their lives. Because because to be honest, it does nothing for them. So I'm really, really frustrated right now. There's so much going on in the world. If, they are not, if it's not police brutality here, it's these women that are not being paid well. It is women who are being sexually assaulted. It's just so much rubbish. We all have to stop, pause, and take stock of what's happening. Take a bit of control of our lives and help each other. People have me questioning. Decided to share ways we women can protect each other. To be honest, I'm not in any way condoning any of these stupid acts. I'm not in any way blaming anybody for it. But at the same time, it would just be nice if we sit down and realize that we can to an extent protect ourselves individually and protect each other in so many ways. So I asked on Instagram yesterday for people to give suggestions um, which they feel we women can protect each other with. I got some good suggestions, about five of them, and then built up on them and decided to make this video. First one is self-defense. If there's ways you can learn self-defense, guys, please just be active because you just never know where any of these things can happen and then your physical reactions could help you to a large extent. I'm going to put a little video of a bit of self-defense. If it's something you think you can practice or know, I'll put the link at the description box as well so you can just watch and just see if it helps you in one way or the other. You can also share with your friends who you think could be interested in learning how to defend themselves to at least an extent. Protecting yourself when you go out at night, maybe clubbing or a night um, outing or whatever. This is really, really prevalent amongst university students because I know a lot of my friends who had their first horrible sexual experience. In fact, some people were actually disvergined when they went clubbing out with friends who they thought were their good friends. When you're going out clubbing or partying with friends, please be first of all sure of how you're getting back home. Thankfully, right now, there's so many taxi services that work without you even having a car. So you can actually go out and find your way back home yourself while you're in that club as well. Who are you going with? Is it your friends? Are you drinking? If you're drinking, do not leave your drink unattended to be with friends who you trust watch out for your friends because a lot of guys are just so useless that when they go out they're trying to spike someone's drink to get someone high make someone not even <laughs> aware of themselves anymore before you know crazy things happen and i do guys there's so many stories that i'm sure so many people who attend nigerian universities can actually relate to this and attest to the fact that this is so true so when you're going out make sure you're going out with someone you trust make sure you know how you are getting back home there's something we usually call vex money which is the money you have in your pocket to take care of yourself if things don't go how you planned surrounding yourself with the right people who you trust in fact probably don't even trust anybody and just protect yourself look out for your friends if you see someone doing something who, that you think is shady shifty tell your friend you don't have to accost them because it's nice anything can happen to you but tell your friend just be be very very aware of your surrounding and just know that you shouldn't trust anybody and for ladies for instance who drive to be honest i don't even advise people to go get gas at night try and fill up your tank during the day the gas station is one point where different kind of atrocities can happen you can go buy gas maybe you want to now buy something in the shop and then somebody can just pop out from anywhere just do anything to you if you ever go out to buy gas just try to make sure you have this whole just hold your khakis like this you know this end is quite sharp one of the suggestions on instagram stated that carry a sharp object and a kitchen 
kitchen alarm so on your car keys you can or your house keys or whatever you can have an alarm which once you press it like you don't even need to fight or just press it by the time it starts making one crazy sound the person will be shocked also a sharp object like this part of your car key you can always use it to poke someone but i really don't even want you to get into this situation so try and buy your gas early try and avoid driving and parking at night because those are the times especially in, in nigeria where most of us live it is just not safe to walk like even when i used to work in aylesbury going back home from the office my colleagues used to advise me pass another route today tomorrow pass another because if people see you this person is always coming through this route. all these crazy people with knives and whatever you just never know so just protect yourself try not to even be out at night unfortunately that's just the life we live in that's what that's the society we have seen ourselves in when we women cannot just be people cannot just sit down and say yes this is a woman you came from a woman like flipping respect the female gender treat her with respect she's a flipping queen destroying people's lives by doing crazy things to them it's, it's just very pathetic so girls we have to help ourselves try not to be out at night if you have to be just be careful if you're going to buy something at a shop and you're scared to walk back to your car tell the shopkeeper please walk me back you know just know that you shouldn't trust anybody the world is very very unsafe and then look out for your mates as well advise them we need to really take care of ourselves ladies and if you feel any form of harassment at work please just report it usually most corporations are very very professional in handling these things it's not like you go and report and they'll call your name you know just report whatever you think is very very improper and anybody's actions is just wrong make sure you raise it with your team manager and if he or she doesn't take it forward you re just report it to the probably hr or whoever the process at your workplace says you should raise things like that to just raise it to them immediately you shouldn't condone any form of sexual harassment at work i know in nigeria it's difficult when people go maybe marketing just be careful ladies like nothing is worth your body nothing no form of any pressure or anything if it's god pray to god it's not it's not and it's not your fault that you're in a situation but try as much as possible to avoid being in such unnecessary communication with people who do or suggest stuff like that next i'll say it's online dating to be very honest a lot of my friends that are single and ask me how do we meet people these days how do we meet i tell them you can go online you can go online you can go online because to be honest most people are online once you leave secondary once you leave university and maybe you leave your masters it's difficult to actually meet people who you know you have something to do with except someone introduces you to someone so i always you know tell my friends online dating like maybe an online app where you pay just go there and be careful then again when you're going for these dates make sure there are like two or three people who know where you're going to who know the name the address surname phone number of the person where you're where you're going to um have the first date or whatever with you're meeting in a public place you know everything the, the once the one the more there is technology in the world the more there is crime so as things are getting better in one extent the people who are going to be doing the bad things in that um area are also getting very much better so we can't really say we don't want to progress in life because of crime or because of bad things just try to protect yourself make sure you have a good feel of who you're going to have your first date with luckily i think um an app called bumble they have this um catfishing plug or something i don't even know how that works but i really don't know to be honest but just look at things like that and protect yourself the whole big aim of this whole thing is everybody is a criminal until proven to be trusted basically that's how you should just see um life and then online dating and stuff like that and obviously if you know the real definition of rape you know rape is something that can happen even with someone who you're familiar with so let's say you're still trying to get to know somebody just get a right feel of the person ask questions see if they actually genuinely like you you know there's a way you meet someone and you just be like they just want to actually play with you or or the person just doesn't come off straightforward it could be talking about something else politics but the integrity is just not there just have a good feel of people you're meeting you're getting to know even your boyfriend like how does he even act when maybe he suggests something that you don't want to do or how does he just act when he's angry you know there are just some little traits you see in someone that you be like come oh, like, like i should not even associate myself with this person do you get i'm not blaming you or anybody who has been attacked but at the same time protect yourself like don't surround yourself with someone you don't trust someone who you see talking to people anyhow or someone whose friends are probably rapists you know people i don't know there's just a way you have a feel of someone to an extent that you'd be like okay yes this is not really not where i should be and then husbands to boyfriends girlfriends it's not by force when someone doesn't want to have sex let them be jiggers so when you see you have a boo who doesn't even know how to understand no i'm not in the mood 
those are little traits and signs because at some point some people just feel they've done so much for you that's another thing i was even going to mention again there's nothing like a free lunch in this world nobody has the right to rape you i would say nobody has the right to collect anything from your body that you don't want but at the same time don't expect too much from people don't grab too much from people don't let people look at it like they you're owing them something she gets all these reasons i'm giving clearly that who are now was in the church she went to read and someone still raped her so you get like i'm not even condoning anything from any angle at the same time i'm saying just protect yourself in the best you can because clearly we're living with some animals in this world and it's not something we can actually stop by shouting or tweeting or anything but we can still protect ourselves we can still share the message we can still help people when we see situations that are not conducive for somebody we speak up you don't just keep quiet speak up if you cannot report go and talk to the person or just stop that situation from happening to the best you can the instagram report the other person said self-defense classes and so then um the last one the last point that was there was a reporting and then uh, we should have international conversations as women da, da, da. so yeah basically that's it so i just said i should come and um share a bit uh, with you guys it's been a lot going on in my life now i will talk about it in future videos right now i just wanted to just bring this out and just i don't, I don't know if there's other suggestions you'd have in comments in the comment section please drop it we are all each other's keeper we are all each other's sisters we have moms we have cousins we have female mentors please just be responsible men your friends talk to them when you have friends that are talking like mad people talk to them you know and ladies that have gone through anything i'm very sorry on your behalf i know it's not easy i have had friends who have told me so many things they've gone through but nobody's interested in bringing it out there because to be honest it does no good for a lot of people especially in our country nigeria over here at least you can call you know the emergency oh another thing i even realized is that with your iphone most of the iphones if you hold this voice volume button and your side button down for a long minute like this you see the emergency sos comes out so instead of sliding instead of putting it off because for turning off you just call your emergency so that's something you can do if your phone is in your pocket just quickly hold these two of them together tightly in like five seconds it will come out so that's another way to protect yourself if you're in a developed country where things like this work aside that please just let's keep taking care of yourself in fact wherever you may be keep taking care of yourself just trust no one trust no one the last one is all these family relatives where you have girls in the house all these annoying cousins or cousins friends people who just are, are, you know are just around the house they don't even see them again because they're so familiar those people beware of them when they now tell your small cousin to go to one house beware of in fact in that house things can be happening in the backyard wherever you're just touching the child doing unnecessary things just be careful of who you're keeping around your kids even sometimes stepfathers you get this word is just so disgusting that you cannot trust anybody everybody is a criminal until proven innocent of which there's no time to start proving anybody innocent so please do not trust anybody wherever you have girls young girls middle-aged girls teenage girls no unnecessary person should be around there ask them questions be close to your sisters be close to your daughters talk to them because someone doesn't want to go to school anymore why she doesn't she want to go to school anymore talk to her is there, are they playing with you are they torture you know just ask them any questions show them the parts of their body that nobody should touch so yeah that's guys i guess the message has been passed please drop a comment if you feel there are other ways you, we can protect each other alongside this justice against rape protests there's been a lot of other ones like the black lives matter and in london yesterday we're out in Hyde Park and John Boyega gave us a very touching speech I'm going to put the speech at the end of this video I want to also just thank everybody who came out you know on their social media platforms who came out on the streets to just come and prove to the world that black lives matter police police brutality should come to an end a lot of skills fell out of white people's eyes especially in Britain like they did not even understand that this was what used to happen like how many people have done these things that were not caught on film you get it's just so crazy I'm just so excited with the way people are just getting to research more understand obviously if you're not black you can never really understand in fact a black man can't even understand what a black woman goes through so not talk of someone who is not black you can understand what we're going to it's not possible but just read books listen to us understand us and just shut you have nothing good to say thank you guys so much for watching this video see you on my next episode bye bye Oh, you got this. You got this. You got this. You got this. You've got this. You've got this. Black men, black men, we need to take care of black women. We need to take care of them. They are hard. They are hard.
They are our future. We cannot demonize our own. Amen. We are the pillars of the family. Yes. Yes. Imagine this, a nation that is set up with individual families that are thriving, that are healthy, that communicate, that raise their children in love, have a better rate of becoming better human beings. I want to thank every single one of you for coming out. This is very important. This is very vital. Black lives have always mattered. We have always been important. We have always met. We have always succeeded regardless. And now is the time. I ain't waiting.